Hello, my name is Diane and I'm one of the instructors for this course, Speaking Before an Audience. Now I'm going to talk about getting your facts right. If you're tapped to talk in front of an audience, perhaps in a sales annual sales convention, or in front of your classroom, or perhaps in a community, a great speech starts with the great research. So what do you do if you have to prepare a speech and you need to research for the facts? You can follow the steps. One is to make sure that the scopes and the purpose of the speech is clearly clarified beforehand. If you are selecting your own topics, define precisely the scopes on paper before you start researching your topics. Second is to make sure that you can deliver all the scopes within the time given. What do you do if you know that you cannot deliver your speech within the time given. You either can contact or discuss with your organizer to reduce the scopes of your speech or to expand the time given to you. And thirdly, and I think this is the most important one, is to analyze your audience. Who are they? Are they an expert in the subject matter? Or they are students? What is their age? What is their background? Do you need to start from the fundamentals? Or do you need to build foundation in your speech before you can go on with your scopes? Fourth is to write down the outline for your speech, start with five to ten ideas and then you elaborate your ideas. Find facts for each of your points and verify your facts for each point from three trusted sources. It can be books, periodicals, it can be government reports, statistics, or it can be opinions or interviews. If you have chosen to speak on a topic that you know something about, you may already have all the materials for your speech. For example, you are a national netball player and your audience would expect you to share your own experience, your teammates' experience on all your, you know, success and perhaps failures throughout your experience as a national netball player. But this does not mean that you don't need to consult other sources. Experiential knowledge is very powerful, but you need to add your knowledge to make your speech more effective. So where do you find your resources? You can use a traditional way or the in-trend way, which is the internet. To find the printed resources, you can go to the library or you can purchase it yourself. The thing with printed resources like books, periodicals, newspapers, government publications, encyclopedias, and statistical sources, they are usually very accurate and correct. You can find true keyword phrases if you're using the library catalog, which is, which is also online nowadays or you can thumb through in the section in the library once you get one sources from the catalog 
and you can, you can go to that section and start thumbing through in the same section. Whilst using the internet sources actually is more overwhelming because it's so wide. There are websites, there are news groups, there are newspapers online, periodicals online. You can have online podcasts, radio, televisions and so on. So you can start by using this platforms for example Google Yahoo or Bing search engines which is a superb place to begin with and to avoid spending hours sifting through endless websites and finish with nothing you can try using certain keywords in different search engines and see what each delivers it could be interesting to 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 see whether they are similar or they they have valuable differences there are many tips and tricks to refine your internet search for better results techworm.net for example has shared 25 tips and tricks to google search and you can read it from this url Other than that, you can also interview. Select the best person, ask good question, prepare a follow-up question. Uh, it can be closed-ended and open-ended questions. And make sure you record your interview and double-check with them if you need, if you're not sure with your notes and and because you don't want to risk your credibility by misquoting or you know giving incorrect facts from an expert in conclusion before you giving a speech it is best for you to do research and if you don't know what to research for anticipate your audience questions when you search items for your speech, it can be facts, opinions, descriptions and so on. Please note the sources, especially if you think you are going to use it in your speech. It is important for you to evaluate the sources. Make sure it is valid and reliable by using at least three different sources. Single source may lead to plagiarism. And it is important for you to acknowledge your sources in your speech. Of course, you can use websites, but use them wisely. And don't just use websites only. As I mentioned earlier, you need to use at least three different sources, especially if it is from the internet. And make sure your sources are relevant. Provide necessary context. If it's too old, it, is m it might not be relevant anymore. And don't cram too much facts in your speech, especially if there are statistics, a lot of numbers, and images that related to the same context. And if they're too much, maybe you can give out hand out to your audience and you can have all the necessary data in that handout instead so until the next video bye